What's up, guys? Calvin here. Today, I'm going to show you how to test a MOSFET on your ESC and make sure if it's broken or not. So you can take a look at this uh, ESC. This is the Cricket 200 V2, and then uh, it's broken. So uh, what you will need, you will need a multimeter. The function in here you will use will be uh, the dial option. So on my multimeter, it will be under this uh, sections, and then I have to select it to the dial symbol in here. And then you can start to do some tests. So you will use the negative pin to connect to your positive battery pad. And let's try out the good one in here. This three looks good, so I'm going to try the good one first. Negative pin on the positive pad, and then positive pin on the motor pad. And you can see the number pops out at uh, 0 0.476. Second pad, 0 0.475. Pretty similar to the first and second one. So this three pad, pretty normal. And let's go to this broken one. Let's check out this one. This one is 0 0.6. It's a, bit, it's a little bit higher, right? And then let's, let's test the second pad here. It's uh, 0 0.6. And the third one, 0 0.48. So looks like this two guy are a little bit different compared to this one and the other three. And then let's um, switch the pin. Now we're going to use the positive pin to connect to the negative battery pad on here. And then we are going to use the negative pin to check each motor pad and see the value. So let's start from the first pad still similar because it's double end mass so their values should be very very similar 0 0.47 0 0.47 0 0.47 and this one is 0 0.001 that's wrong right that's totally different and this one i believe is also broken yep and then the third one, this one is still good. So 0 0.47. So you can tell if the MOSFET is broken, then when you use uh, the dial option on your multimeter to test the value, it will look different. And then the normal range, as uh, my experience, it will be between around 350 to 500. If it's uh, within that range, then it should be good. So now you know how to use a multimeter to check your ESC and then find out which MOSFET is broken. Alright, that will be all for this video. Thanks for watching.